I'm not really good. Good morning, y'all. So I am headed out to my doctor's appointment. I am 36 weeks, almost 37. I think tomorrow or the next day I turn 37 weeks. But this big old bump the last couple days definitely has felt like it's gotten a lot bigger. Um, but I decided because I don't dress up very often and there's a hurricane coming so the wind has picked up so it's kind of like it's turning into fall plus it's technically fall when Starbucks comes out with their pumpkin spice drink and it came out yesterday so I figured I would just wear like a fall look today I've got my over the knee boots my leggings maternity leggings and then my favorite favorite sweatshirt made to mother sweatshirt I love this thing and it's super lightweight so it's not very hot which is really nice but I just thought this was so cute and there's my daughter back there <laughs> my kids are already rowdy and crazy daddy's staying home with them Georgie's doing his schoolwork right now Abel's about to watch YouTube videos um, until Georgie or at least until I get back I guess that's what they do because yeah. Nick has to work from home while I go get my doctor's appointment done. <laughs> and then when I get back, he'll probably have to go to work. So then the day really starts, but I'm going to bring y'all along with, I can't remember if this is the time when they start checking me for dilation and stuff yet. Jeez. Or if it's next week. 37th week, but we will see. Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. hi. Yay. <laughs> These two right here are always together and they're either fighting or they're loving on each other and playing. <laughs> and he loves to teach her bad things. So <laughs> it's not always the best to leave them together. <laughs> Yeah. And this room is still not done, y'all. I have so much to do, but I'm going to go ahead and get everything for baby and hospital and myself first before I try to even tackle this room. Um, the only thing that will be here hopefully soon is his little hanging crib that's going to go like, I think we're going to hang it like right here. So it'll be kind of in this area. Um, and then I want to do like some really cute boho pictures right here. There's a lot I want to do, y'all, but for now, it's going to stay like this. And of course, I did laundry yesterday, so I got to put all that away. It's never ending dishes and laundry. Huh, Mama? <laughs> well, y'all, I just pulled up at my doctor's appointment. I'm actually pretty early because I wanted to stop at Starbucks to get a pumpkin spice latte. Um, my first one of the season since I didn't get to go yesterday. But I was afraid that, you know, if the line's too long or if it takes too long, then I would be late to my appointment. And I hate being late. I hate being rushed. It's like the worst feeling in the world. So I decided to just come straight here. But now I'm like super early. So I figured I'd hop on the camera real quick and just chat for a sec before I go into the doctor. If you guys have been following me on YouTube or on Instagram. If you haven't, I will leave my handle linked here and in the description box. Definitely go over to Instagram and give me a follow. I would love to be friends with you and get to know you over there. Um, obviously, I share a lot of pregnancy stuff, but I do share a lot of um, style and clothing and kid things over there as well. But I have been talking a lot about how this is my last pregnancy and how I've been feeling about it. And y'all, it's really hitting me. I mean, every single day, every time this baby moves in my stomach, I just get this like overwhelming feeling of happiness and sadness all at the same time. And it's seriously so hard to explain the way that I feel because unless you have gone through this or you're going through it now, you understand but other than that it's so hard to explain and trying to explain it to like my husband for example um 
he's always like, well, aren't you ready to just pop that baby out already? And I'm like, no. And he goes, what? You're always in pain. You know, you're always, you're walking around like you're hurting. And I'm like, I know the pain has gotten worse. The bigger I get, the closer I get to the due date, it gets really, really bad for me. I can barely walk around for longer than 15 minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes before I just feel like a crippled person, like I'm gonna fall to the floor. But knowing that this is coming to an end forever, it just makes me wanna hold on to every little moment that I possibly can. And I don't know y'all. I'm trying not to cry, but um, it's just very weird. Um, I love being pregnant and I've always loved it and my journey was so long um, trying to get pregnant with my first child we weren't trying to get pregnant it was um, a surprise and it was the most amazing surprise because before that I never thought that I could I had gone to so many specialists and doctors I had a lot of problems in my uterus and my ovaries and um, <clears throat> they could never figure out what was wrong and why I had so much pain and why it was bleeding so long, so long and then not bleeding and there I just a long road so when I finally got pregnant it was amazing and then after that being able to get pregnant four times now and I'm so blessed because I have not had one miscarriage. I haven't lost a baby. Um, my pregnancies have been amazing. The only time that I feel the best is when I'm pregnant. Minus, you know, the body pains. But all the other stuff that I go through when I'm not pregnant, it comes back up again. And it starts over and the pain and the bleeding and just things that... I don't understand and the doctors that I've gone to can't figure out what's wrong. Um, so what that means is that after this baby, I am getting a hysterectomy and having everything taken out, which that on top of it just makes it even more hard knowing that, not only knowing like, okay, this is the last one we decided, like we can't have any more after this. I will never go through pregnancy again. I will never have those feelings again you know, being excited and nervous and scared and taking a pregnancy test, um, you know, just in case and going to the ultrasounds and the doctor visits and feeling the baby kick for the first time, all of those things, y'all, it's weird knowing that it's never going to happen again. And on top of that, knowing that it really could never happen because I'm getting everything taken out of my body, my ovaries, my uterus, everything. Um, which I'm crossing my fingers that when that does happen, that all the pain and all the problems that I've been having for over, I don't even know how long it's been y'all, since I was like 19 years old, that that will be gone. So that would be a plus. But if you, are going through this if you know that this is your last baby this is your last pregnancy or if you've already gone through this and you're done having kids let me know down below how you dealt with it and what you did because I can get postpartum depression I've gotten it twice with two of my after two of my babies and it is the hardest thing to go through and I'm so afraid that this time around it's gonna be worse and I'm not gonna be able to prevent it um, because of how I'm feeling right now and knowing all of these things and obviously you add in hormones and trying to get your body back on track after having a baby can cause postpartum and I'm a little worried so if you've gone through this please please let me know um, what you did and how you felt and your journey through this because I need some guidance, I need some support, 
and just knowing that I'm not alone in this feeling. And I don't want to be sad about it because I'm bringing a baby into this world and it's going to be amazing and the best parts are yet to come. Um, but again, if you haven't gone through this, it's just a hard thing to wrap your brain around and to really stop every day and take those moments in and try to like, I mean, I'm trying so hard to just remember every little thing because I'm so afraid that I'm going to forget and I'm going to get so busy in the next couple weeks before he comes. And next thing I know, he's in my arms and I've forgotten my pregnancy and how I felt and, you know, seeing his face on the ultrasound and just all of those things, y'all. It's just... Okay. I don't want to cry anymore. Um, but again, if you guys have gone through that, let me know down below. I would love to talk to you about it and ask some questions and get some guidance, but I'm going to go ahead and go into my appointment now. So let's go see how I'm doing and how baby boy's doing. <laughs> grande iced decaf uh, pumpkin spice latte grande iced decaf pumpkin spice latte yes and easy on the ice Play on the ice and can I get two pumps of mocha in there two pumps of mocha anything else and instead of whipped cream can I do sweet cream cold foam and instead of we take off the whip and we put two drink off from whatever y'all it's fall! It doesn't feel like fall because it's Texas and it's still freaking hot. Hot, 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 hot. It says it's 90 degrees right now and it's 11 a.m. So, that speaker is like right next to my window. It's really loud, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but of course, as y'all saw, like I'm wearing a full-on fall outfit. <laughs> and then I'm getting my pumpkin spice. I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all. I just want it to be fall already, please. Come on, Texas. Get rid of this stuff or something. Anything would be nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Have a great day. Thank you. They make it really good for you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Ow. Say hi. You're doing so good, Mama. Daddy put hairspray in her ponytail up there, so now it's sticking straight up. Say, what did daddy do to your hair? What did he do to your hair, mama? Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm starting to get really hot now. So now that I'm home, taking my boots off, I'm about to change the sweatshirt and put a tank top on because it's definitely getting up there. It's hot. You do need cheese face. <laughs> That's the cutest little cheese. Smile, cheeses. Oh. 
we need to put your clothes away that are in your room. I really want to organize her closet because I'm going to be using her closet for her and the new baby. I just realized the fan is on above me, so I'm really sorry if y'all can hear that windy noise in the camera. But like I said, it's so hot, I just can't turn it off. Um, but I think I'm going to do <clears throat> a video on organizing and decluttering her nursery closet and it'll be with her clothes and with baby boy stuff but I might have to do that video after I have the baby because we have so much going on it's just I don't even know when I'll even have time to organize it and get everything I need for it because baby comes first so baby stuff comes first <laughs> hospital stuff all that but I thought I'd give y'all a little update now that I'm back from the doctor's office they did the strep B test today which I'm sure I'll be positive because I've been positive the last three times and all that means is that when you go into the hospital for labor and delivery oh gosh look y'all she's taking everything out you gonna take it all out now yeah <laughs> but um all that means is that they have to give you antibiotics and your IV uh, before you have the baby so they usually check to see if you have it if you are positive they put the antibiotics in the IV bag um, let it get through your system and then you have to like wait an hour before you can actually go into full delivery now they usually do this right when you get there so you know you're not waiting for an hour to push a baby out if you're already ready to go <laughs> but that's really all that means the only thing that sucks is I've always wanted to do um, my placenta encapsulation like have them put them in little pills and take them afterwards and I cannot do that because I'm positive and I don't know why that is I'm not sure about all that but I just know that when I went to try to do it they said well if you are positive for strep B then they can't do it I don't know if it's like harmful to me or who knows y'all I don't know but so I've never been able to do it and that kind of sucks but she checked for dilation this time. Today was the first day to check for dilation and then we will do this every single time for the next, my appointments are every week from now on. And today I was two centimeters dilated. And you can stay at two centimeters for like four weeks or you know, he could come sooner, but all of my babies at 37 weeks pregnant, I was three centimeters dilated and within that week or the next my babies came so I'm very nervous right now because I do not want him to come yet I want him to wait I would love for him to come at his 40th week <laughs> or my 40th week of pregnancy and not come early like the rest of my babies but obviously I can't I can't predict that and I can't do anything about it so I'm crossing my fingers and praying to God that I stay at two centimeters for the next two weeks and and then we can have a baby okay <laughs> by the way y'all so first pumpkin spice of the season is delicious and other than the decaf part if you're not a decaf person you can get it in regular but if you like chocolate like I do I think this is like the best thing ever so it is just the pumpkin spice latte I just get it over ice um, and I asked them to add two pumps of mocha in a grande size and then I always ask for the sweet cream cold foam on top and of course you can see here they put um, the pumpkin spice on top as well hey, mommy. oh my gosh y'all it's delicious so this hey, is my drink now from now on until it gets colder when it gets colder I'll start getting the hot one but for now the cold one is amazing <clears throat> All right, you want to help me with your your clothes? No, don't you dare go over there with that camera. Why are you always gonna go for the camera? All right, let's get your clothes out because we gotta. Baby Jade is down for her nap. 
And usually when she takes a nap is when I try to get things done, but this third trimester has definitely been kicking my butt and I'm exhausted every day around the time that she takes a nap. And even though I really should push through because when she wakes up, it's a lot harder for me to get anything done and I need to film another video, I need to edit, I need to clean. There's a lot of things I need to do, but y'all, I'm exhausted, so I'm going to lay down, take a little snoozer while she's sleeping, and then hopefully when she gets up, I'll be able to get a couple things done. At least I can clean, because I always have the boys help me. They've been doing more like chores lately and helping me out lately a lot more around the house. Uh, I've been putting more on their chore list so that's been helping me out. I'm trying to get them trained for when the baby gets here because I'm obviously not gonna be able to do everything by myself. Um, and they've been doing great and they actually love doing it. So I'm gonna have them help me and we can do that with her being awake. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to film or do anything like that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and lay my head down for a little bit and fall asleep. And hopefully baby boy here, <laughs> kind of hard to see I have to have my pillow in between my legs or if not it hurts really bad oh he's moving a lot right now but hopefully he'll settle down so I can sleep because when I lay down and he starts going crazy I can't it keeps me awake so let's take a nap baby boy <laughs>
<laughs> she says, hey, wait a minute. How'd that happen? for me for bed but all the kids are getting in their beds hubby and I are gonna hang out on the couch drink our milkshakes our nightly chocolate milkshakes there's a couple nights that I like either forget to do it or decide not to do it and my husband's like well where's my milkshake I'm used to having <laughs> my milkshake every night so something that we started doing which is probably not the best or the healthiest thing but we're letting it slide because I'm pregnant we only have a little bit of time left before we can't do this anymore. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and coming along with me, getting through this last pregnancy and being a part of it, I'm so grateful. I've gotten so many sweet messages and kind words and I've met new mamas and pregnant mamas and I just love it so much. So, if you wanna reach out to me, I'm always here. I love to talk to y'all. Um, and then again, like I said earlier, if you're going through the same thing I am, definitely reach out to me. I would love to pick your brain about it and figure out how I'm going to get through this. But I'm going to go enjoy my milkshake and time with my hubby. Um, we do have a hurricane supposed to hit land tonight. Obviously, once this video goes up, it'll be past that time. So praying and fingers crossed that everything is fine, that everybody is safe, um, that nobody gets hurt um, or stuck or stranded. Uh, where we live, we're probably not gonna get that much other than like some wind and maybe some rain, but obviously everybody that's right in the middle of this hurricane, praying for y'all uh, and I hope that your homes are okay, I hope you're okay, I hope your family's okay. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and go and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you're new and I will see y'all on my next one bye